Good morning YouTube, welcome back to the channel folks, hope you're all doing well, as you can see we've already started, so um, there's bark on these beds and as you can see there's loads of weeds and grass so we're just going to tidy it up, there's a couple of wee red robins here and a few budlies, we'll tidy them up as well, so stay tuned. Guys, as you can see, they've put down the dreaded membrane, so I don't know why people put down membrane. They should just put down bark on top of the soil. It's far cleaner, it's far healthier. There's more light, water and air under the soil, so it's just a disaster. Once I go now and try and wreck all this, I'll be pulling membrane with my wreck as well, so that's another thing you look out for, but when it's done, it'll be nice. Now, as you can see as well, they haven't pinned the membrane down properly, so what can you do, folks? So now I'm just southern out all the weeds, trying to leave as much bark as possible. I already said the customer she may need some more bark just to top up, they freshen it up. So. The weeds actually come out easy enough, as you can see. Some of them are just embedded under the membrane. So they are, and they're really tough to get out. <laughs>
So guys, anybody thinking about starting a garden business, think again. Let me tell you, it's January and February. Absolutely no work at all. You know, I think with the weather in January as well, frost, ice, nobody wants you out at their property. So, January and February, as I say, my phone was a runner. And the last day of work was 24th of December. Well, we've done a few days in January. I mean, three or four days in January, but not enough to keep the wheels turning. So, alright. So, when my phone wasn't ringing, I thought, what am I going to do? So, I started working on my marketing for my business. I need a website, johnnysgardenmaintenance.com. Check it out. It's just a wee landing page for the business. Um, nice and professional looking. Any UK gardeners or Irish gardeners, um, help me up if you need help on website for the business. So, yeah, I got the website and I've done some more marketing. I've got logos on my van. Need a bit of vis visibility when I'm out and about on the streets doing the jobs. You see people looking and staring, but they don't actually approach you. So my van's all logoed up now. Johnny's Garden Maintenance on the van. I've got new business cards. Um, so I need to get verified. My next move now is getting verified on Google. And so then I'm on Google, Yale, Instagram, Facebook, um, all the social media platforms. So, um, yeah, it's just January, it was far too quiet, far too quiet. And to be honest, you get a bit depressed sitting about the house doing nothing. So, as I say, I focused on the marketing side of the business. And uh, now we're all ready to go, so I'm just hoping my phone starts ringing a lot more now. You know, so. I spent a few pound, a few pound that I didn't have, but it had to be done. You have to spend a few pound to make a few pound in this business. So the weather's a bit warmer. So that's what I've been doing the last two months. guys watching the videos and thinking I could do gardening or make loads of money. Trust me, it's not that easy. It's a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of planning. Things can go wrong, tools can break, vans can break. So if you think that there's an easy buck out there, there's no easy money, you have to work hard for your dough. So, um, the first few years, I started the business. Come September, I was working with Parcel Force, January, December, September, October, November, January, February, and then I was back at it. So, I was hoping this year, I was going to be busy January and February, but I wasn't. I was dead. As I say, it didn't make a penny. So, you can't survive just in grass cutting. That's what I found. Because um, come September, nobody wants you at their property. Grass cutting's done. So what do you do then? You had your regulars cutting them every two weeks. You had steady money coming in. Now the steady money has stopped. So, it's not all what it's cracked up to be, folks. I 
really enjoy what I do. I love it. I'm my own boss. It's my own business. Self-employed. I know what I need to earn. So. That's where we're at now at the moment. I was depending too much on Facebook as well for, for work, you know, thinking all oh, my work's good enough, people will see it, but believe me, there's loads of people now on social media, especially the older generation. So now they're on Google, Yale, Instagram, Facebook, um, Google. Things can only get better, folks, as they aim said. Like in January there, I must have spent the guts of £2,000 in the business. And as I say, I didn't make a penny in January or February. So, if you're thinking about gardening, boys and girls, think twice. Tell you a wee story. When I was a young kid, long, long time ago, that was my mummy and daddy. They didn't have much money, so they saved up a lot of money. They sent me to the David Copperfield School of Gardening. Let me show you a wee trick. Voila! Just like that folks, a wee bit of magic. Paul Daniels wouldn't have a lot done, would he? So if you want a bit of magic in your garden, give Johnny's Garden Maintenance a ring today. That's a good job. So guys, that's another wee video done for today. Um, beds we did out. Budleys turn back. Fatinias turn back. Customers happy. Stay tuned for the next video folks. If you're liking the content, give us a wee comment, like, comment, subscribe, season up it.